How's it going everyone? In this video I want to give you guys some game updates specifically from EA as they had their EA Play live event yesterday. I know how much you guys love EA. We got the announcement of a Dead Space remake even though rumblings on that have been happening for quite a while. Grid Legends was announced with a trailer that did not really excite me all too much. A little bit goofy on that, but I've been a fan of Grid for a while, so hopefully that turns out well. Dragon Age 4, we have an update on that. We'll talk that at the end of this video, but Dead Space Remake was officially announced and it will be coming to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, and PC, so it will not be on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Unfortunately, the trailer was just a tiny, tiny teaser. It did not give you an idea of anything, but it was announced as a Dead Space remake. It's just Dead Space, so I'm excited to see Dead Space make a comeback. I loved Dead Space back when it originally came out, and I thought Dead Space 2 was absolutely tremendous. Dead Space 3, whatever, that game was kind of a meme, but Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 1 I thought were absolutely fantastic, and while we don't have a release date, you would have to think that this one is a far ways away, especially because it's being designed on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, and PC. A lot of these big publishers are not going to be willing to put out next-gen exclusive titles unless it's at a point where a lot of people get their hands on next-gen games, and at this point, the PS5 and series probably for the rest of this year and in 2022 it's still gonna be you know something that a limited amount of people have but hopefully by 2023 uh, it's gonna be readily available for everyone maybe even at a better price we'll see how that turns out it was noted the Dead Space franchise made a huge impact on the survival horror genre when it was released 12 years ago and I came to Motive as a fan first to specifically work on this game we have a passionate team at Motive who are approaching this remake as a love letter to the franchise going back to the original and having the opportunity to do so so on next-gen consoles excited everyone on the team as we look to modernize the game we've reached out to dedicated fans and invited them to provide us with feedback since the early stages of production to deliver the dead space game that they wanted and for new players to enjoy as well so this is being done by motive studios as the rumblings had suggested they are the same guys that did star wars squadron so definitely while star wars squadrons had a little bit of buzz around it dead space is gonna have a ton of buzz around it this dead space was huge back in 08 and so was dead space 2 dead space 3 from my recollection faltered in sales but dead space 1 and 2 did really well and hey to hold people over maybe do a dead space 1 and 2 collection or even a dead space trilogy collection where you can do all those games up the visuals and put it on ps4 and um xbox one and that can be a current gen title as well it doesn't have to be ps5 and x series only of course and you know those games even though that they're bringing out a dead space remake people will still be down to go back and play og dead space from 2008 and dead space 2 for sure so it would be nice if they do that again I would temper your expectations as far as a release window for this one. It's obviously still very, very early on, and the fact, again, is that it's going to be a next-gen title, and the fact it's next-gen only makes me think EA knows that this game is a long ways out, and they're going to release it at a time frame where PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series are going to be readily available for everyone. And to me, that doesn't say 2022. That's probably 2023. At best, I could see late 2022, but that's the best-case scenario, and I honestly, I kind of doubt that. Especially Especially with these days, I mean, you look at CG trailers, I'm happy they didn't announce a release window because, like, I just wouldn't have believed it with a trailer like this. You just can't do something like that unless they actually gave it, like, a 23 release window, which I think if you said that, that would just upset people even more. It's like, why are you revealing the game? But I really do believe it's a long, long ways out. But excited to see that EA is going back into the Dead Space business because I think the franchise has a lot of legs to it. I think enough time has passed where people forget about Dead Space 3, and it's not like Dead Space 3 was this atrocity of a game. Trust me, we've We've seen far worse games out of premier franchise than Dead Space 3. Dead Space 3 just was not on the level of 2 and 1, but I think that there is going to be a lot of anticipation and excitement surrounding a full-on remake. Okay, moving on from that, uh, EA also announced Grid Legends. Now, I have been a pretty big fan of Grid for a while. Maybe pretty big is a, a bit of a stretch, but I've enjoyed the Grid games quite a bit. This trailer for Grid Leg uh, Legends, and again, I think Codemasters is going to do a good job with the game. A little bit goofy. Like, by the end of the trailer, when you have somebody going in for a takedown and getting into a fight over racing like i don't know maybe that's a little bit too much like i don't think we need to get that goofy with grid keep things simple keep things basic let's get some quality you know racing going on and i think people will be down and enjoy it but i just didn't think the trailer was the kind of presentation that's gonna excite people maybe i'm wrong about that at the end of the day it matters what the game is gonna be and it notes grid legends delivers drama across every inch of the track unique driver personality ai creates unpredictable racing as cars jostle for a place on the podium compete on over a hundred 
130 routes including real life tracks and uh, much more so this is going to be launching in 2022 and look at this this is 2022 and it'll be on ps5 xbox series playstation 4 x1 and pc so once again that kind of backs the thought process of dead space remake being a 2023 game but again it's something we'll have to wait and see on another game that looks like it's going to be in 2023 is dragon age 4 a 2023 release reportedly on track and marketing for the game should begin next year this is another one when the game was announced i think you know most people were pretty certain that it was going to be a long long time coming before you were going to actually get to play this game and that seems to have held up true by where word fans it would be the case and indeed there was no new information about dragon age 4 at ea play i like how they got ahead on um that stuff and just kind of let you know yo this game's not going to be here because people could get disappointed about stuff like that a report from adventure beats jeff grubb noted the wait won't be too excruciatingly long like you're not gonna have to wait till 2028 or anything like that but bioware is currently seemingly targeting a 2023 release date for dragon age 4 now 2023 is still a long ways away a lot of things can happen a lot of things can change but um you know as the world sees some sort of normal uh, normalcy coming back hopefully uh dragon age 4's development can progress pretty smoothly and hopefully this is the opportunity for bioware to really get back on track because trust me guys I know everybody hated Anthem, I know everybody hated Mass Effect Andromeda. Gaming in general is a very much what have you done for me lately kind of business. You release one game that's really good, people forget. You release two games, people forget about what you did in the past. And if those, if the Anthem of the world and if the, what's it called, Mass Effect Andromeda of the world weren't great, they think about what have you done for them recently. Look at Naughty Dog. People are ready to crucify Naughty Dog because of Last of Us Part 2 not being good. And remember, they released better banger after banger game and last of us part two and i agree with those people was not a good game and you know they're ready to be up in arms and done with naughty dog it's again a very much a what have you done for me lately kind of industry and that's just life in general these days we're moving so fast it's on to the next game it's on to the next experience and it's on to what can you offer me next that one game stench is not gonna last for an entire lifetime as long as you deliver a quality product and on top of that now if dragon age 4 is a crappy release okay now we're getting into the territory of okay that's a little bit dicey and things are not going to be great or if the next mass effect is not up to par bioware it's put up or shut up time for them with this and they really have to deliver so take as much time as you need because right now they're in the position where they should be of the mindset hey we really need to deliver on the next game but i don't think it's as dire of a situation as some people are you know making it out to be i'm not ready to put bioware out to pasture or anything like that i think they'll be all right as long as they deliver on their next couple of projects because again what have you done for me lately that's honestly life these days you could apply that to athletes you can apply that to movie production you can apply that to any franchise one episode or a couple episodes of a show isn't great and then suddenly they release two banger episodes you're back on the hype train and it's all good that's kind of the same deal with gaming as well these days at least from my vantage point but that's gonna wrap up this one definitely let me know what you guys think dead space remake definitely has me hyped but keep your expectations in line as far as a release window i don't think we're gonna be seeing it until 23 grid legends coming in 2022 and dragon age 4 looking to also come in 2023 that's gonna wrap up this one sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye.